Hey guys, it's Kant, and here's my second part of the digitalizing tutorial. So, um, I think we were we made this uh, in part one, and I have to make this video really fast because <laughs> um, I only can upload 15 minutes to my channel. And uh, yeah. That's the reason why I make this fast now. So just open the groups we made in a uh, part one. If you don't made one, just select the layers, duplicate them, you know, drag them out from the groups, uh, right click merge layers, um, and make the two groups invisible, that you only have this layer. Um, go to Adobe Illustrator. Uh, in this tutorial you need Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and Cinema 4D go to Adobe Illustrator and go to File New um, name Untitled 3 or I don't know why it's 3 <laughs> but um, Untitled is ok so um, wide 1920 pixels and height 1080 pixels so I made this um, size because it's the solution of my screen if you have a higher or a lower solution you should use it um, that it fits in your screen um, and here so just press OK then this window pops up go back to to Photoshop and now select the layer where it's all in one drag and drop it from Photoshop to Adobe Illustrator oops um, yeah make it bigger or how big you want it you can make it how you want so make a new layer select this layer um, go to the pen tool make the stroke white uh, red line um, and the back the fill thing black because you have a white back if you have a black back um, use white as this color but I want to use black so just um, select all make the same you made in Photoshop with the pen tool um, every time you make a new point you have this line so press alt and on this point that you made your zero point new so um, I want to make it really fast and not really perfect because um, I only can upload 15 minutes so but this was wrong so just make it there holy shit so um, yeah if you make something make it better not so fast so you have the time um so here um just select here oh my god I don't know what's up with me today whoa holy shit this I think yeah, that's okay for the tutorial so I will make this in Illustrator because um, when you make it in Photoshop it's a little bit pixelating and if you make it, oh my god if you make it here it's not pixelating it's oh my god it's really cool and only HD and really awesome quality I don't know what's. Oh my god. It's not my day. <laughs> Just make. Uh, all adds to. So you have to. Uh, oh my god. So normally I should make only one letter that I show it for you, but. 
uh, for this tutorial I need all three letters for Cinema 4D after Illustrator uh, there. so oh I forgot this ad there it don't have to no don't oh, that's annoying uh, I don't have to make on the lines like this if you make it it should be on the lines just uh, you have your paths here it's not really nice <laughs> but if you make it it's it should be nice um just save as go here yeah, I saved in the folder I saved it before um, and I want to save it as to path yeah, I want to replace it. So this window pops up. The Illustrator options. So version don't select Illustrator CS5 or CS4 or CS3, CS2 or CS. Uh, select Illustrator 10, 9 or 8. Um, because in 10, 9 and 8 it's compatible with Cinema 4D, but the best uh, option is Illustrator 8. So here's a warning symbol because it's an older version of Illustrator and if you uh, press now OK if you save it the first time another window will pop up and will say you it's an older version of Illustrator and um, yeah, it's just older and are you sure you want to save it um, just press OK um, it's not popping up on my screen because I uh, hide this uh, window when I made it the first time um, yeah, that's it in Illustrator. You saved it. Go to Cinema 3D. I'm using a, a light kit from Robots 5K or 8K pack. Um, go on File, Merge Objects, and open up the path from the shoot you made. So it's, it's down there. So just put it into the middle make it smaller like that so now you have a group open this up and you see six paths here it's for three letters and for three ads drag them out from the group and you can delete this group so you have six paths you need six extrude nerves just press one, two, three, four, five, six times on it that you have six extrude nerves. So drag each path into it. So you have the three letters and now the three ads. Here. And now select all and go to object movement and in the last option put in 70 um, I think this will be enough for this tutorial yeah. um, if you have text or something a logo um, 70 to 120 is uh, looks cool um, all under that is a little bit too low and all over that is a little bit too big so that's perfect um, I think it's my opinion here after go to caps cap fillet cap um make steps to two and the radius to three presenter and it's like that so you want to group this objects um name it front and just go to edit copy and past name this group um back open it and you have this six layers like in the front put in here this time seven or something you want and steps only one so go to the side and now put this a little bit into the back that you have the front here and the back it gives a really cool look to the 3d text at the end now you can um, rotate this things just press this layer now hold control 
and press the other layer in the back. Just rotate it, rotate it, whatever you want. Now this thing and you, I want to just whoa. You, I want to make like that. So yeah. Now move it to this one. Okay, I made a mistake. So I selected this two. Now I just want to move it in into this. Move this to the same position too. Like that. Now select add one move it like that yeah it's just something you did really fast so yeah if you make it make it nice that you can see that's good work I made um, I will make it not really nice it's just for showing you how you can do it um, yeah, like this. Now I will add to the back, I will add a white color and to the front uh, orange. Now render it and it will take a uh, few seconds or up to one or two minutes to render because it's. Uh, I added much render settings and it's a light kit so it takes longer. So I have three more minutes. I hope um, this will render in three minutes. So here, you can add here. You can add. I want to color the background black. And now you can add to this one a stroke, white, a gradation overlay, or something you want. Yeah, just set effects what you want. Um, add bevel numbers, depth to 1000%, size to about 2, or no, in this case, 5 is okay. With the size of this, so yeah, yeah, that's okay. Add just gives it a little bit 3D effect. Yeah. Yeah. make what you whatever you want so this is rendering and it gets a really cool nice look really classy you can see it on, on the orange um, yeah um, if you want to like it I will put the link to it in the description and yeah I think it's one of the best light kits um, you can get really cool 3D uh, text and yeah that's your end result um, it's not really nice it's just for tutorial and yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, please comment rate and subscribe to me uh, for more helpfully uh, and I hope it's easy to follow for you um, yeah, tutorials. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks for watching us. Bye.